In this video, we're going to talk about how golf was meant to be played in the air and along the ground. But modern courses do not give you that choice too often anymore. Forensic golf, Doc Blade. Hey, today I want to talk about how the game of golf um, was played. And a lot of courses still allow you to play that way and some courses do not. So I played in a tournament two weeks ago and I hit a lot of different type of shots. And uh, the people I were playing with were kind of shocked with all the different variety of shots I was playing. But the reason I did that is because, you know, I'm a firm believer in creativity and imagination. And the courses that I grew up on, you had to use a lot of creativity and imagination because of the mounding around the greens and things like that. But if you only watch PGA Tour Golf, you can be fooled because PGA Tour Golf is about bombing the ball long and then throwing the ball as high as possible and landing it on the green, right? And then when the British Open comes around, you start to see the way that golf was actually created to be played. Golf was played was created to be played in the air and along the ground. And we rarely get to see the second part along the ground nowadays, unless your course is actually an older course. But like, let, let's take Sugar Creek. Sugar Creek doesn't give you that many chances to play along the ground because there's so many forced carries into the green. So it totally eliminates that second part along the ground. But then you can go to other courses and you can hit a variety of different shots. So if your course gives you the opportunity to hit different shots, hey, try hitting a five iron, seven iron distance and running it up on the green and seeing if you can use the contour of the fairways and things like that. You know, it's a wonderful way to play golf. I think you're gonna really, really enjoy it. And it's gonna add another aspect to your golf toolbox. So again, check out some old British Open tapes and look at how they play the golf over there where it's just as important to how you play the ball along the ground as it is you had you play the ball in the air and that's a really really fun and enjoyable way to play the game of golf i'm just trying to give you some more ideas to make your game have more creativity and more imagination because when you add those tools to your golf toolbox it's only going to make you more improved more efficient and you're going to have more predictable predictable shots that you can actually play so i'm going to try to run this five iron on the right side of the green, and I'm gonna run it up the hill and try to slope it around, okay? I ran that ball right up on the green. Let's go over and check it out. I was a little bit off on my target, but it actually did what I wanted it to do. You know, so I'm not gonna complain about that. But this is what I'm talking about. So I ran the ball up and I know that once I get up on this hill, that's gonna be the main part. You gotta get enough of it up on the hill to get it onto the green try to let it run back around but I knew I had to stay away from this hard pan over here because look at all this this would tear your ball up right here you're not gonna do nothing with your ball right there okay and I just was able to run it up on the front of the green I could have hit it a little bit more but I'm happy with that you know just to show you a different shot that we can have out here on the golf course to make this gun this game fun and normally you know an uphill shot, I would have hit it a little bit more firm. But you know what? I'm on the green in two, and no complaints. Ran that ball right up on the green. I sloped it right down through there. Look at the incline, you know? So, hey, folks, use some imagination. Start playing the game of golf. I was created to be played in the air and along the ground, okay? Take care, folks. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. And leave a comment below. If you like Lynx Golf, let me know about it. 
you know, what's your favorite Lynx golf course that you played? What's your favorite Lynx golf course that you like watching on TV? Take care. Okay, the beauty of this is that if the golf course allows you to play the game in the air and on the ground, you're going to have so much more enjoyment and you're going to hit shots that you remember for life. So again, this is 150, hard nine, easy eight. I'm going to take a six iron. I'm going to keep the ball low. I'm going to throw it probably about three quarters of the way there. Let the ball land right before the green and then roll up there toward the center of the green. South spot. I mean, that's exactly what I wanted. Wow, let's go over here and check it out. I mean, I called the shot. I said I want the ball to hit right before the green and then roll up. And it did. It hit right there where I requested it to hit. The shot I called it to hit. Um, it hit right into the perfect bounding where it took everything off the ball. I mean, that ball hit, and it just kind of just stuck there. It took about three or four feet. Look at that. I can't believe that. Well, it's still the kind of shot that I wanted to hit, and I see what happened. It, it took one big old bounce. So that ball hit right in here, boom, and then took a bounce and died. Now, normally that ball would release hard up the green. But hey, that's a nice little British open shot. The game was played along the air and along the ground. I kept it down a little bit lower. I could use that shot with a five iron or a four iron, and I would throw that ball back there somewhere and then let it run up on the green like I did on the last shot. But hey, folks, use your imagination and your creativity and raise your enjoyment. Take care.